pretty much started this pattern by just adding the root note and playing with these tension notes. Also added in the fifth of the chord and the root note, just one octave higher. Once you have your main pattern, you want to copy that because for dark loops, you want it to be kind of repetitive. I added some additional notes, but you also don't want it to be too repetitive. So I changed the root notes of that second part to a C and to a C sharp. And of course, the key to making dark loops is by having the right sounds. And I actually went ahead and made my own preset in the Mellotron VST. And if you want to recreate a preset, all you have to do is change sample A to Vibra and sample B to Vibes. And also add in these effects. And if you're new to sound designing, I would actually recommend using the Mellotron first because it's pretty beginner friendly and quite easy to come up with good sounding patches. And I'm no pro myself, but I found it pretty easy to come up with something somewhat usable. But it's not just all about the VST, it's also about the effects that you apply. First, you always wanna add in some EQ with a low cut, unless you're adding a bass. Then I add a guitar rig with a reverb preset, it's called Deep Gates. And I dive back to mix to 16%. And sometimes just adding in a reverb effect like this one can really change the whole loop. I also added this compressor just to tame the peaks. So this is what it sounds like. So next I added this Balinese contact bank uh, with the synth kettle gongs. And Cubits likes to use organic sounds, like sounds that sound like a real instrument. So I tried to add a couple of those. This is one of them. The effects, I've added in quite a lot. Again, the low cut. Then I added this finisher micro with the infinity preset and dial back the amount just a little. And this plugin is actually free if you want to download it. Added this reverb. Then I added fruity panomatic with a pan automation going from left to right. Then I added the stereo one imager and change the input mode to M plus S, which stands for mid and sides and made it slightly wider. And this is the pattern I came up with. And as you can see, it's pretty basic, but you want to keep it simple. Next, I added this Omnisphere sound. It's from the Texture Soundscape bank and it's called Dark Forest. I added this bandpass EQ. And then I added shaper box with the sidechain pattern and dial back the mix to 57%. I added in the sound just to give it some kind of atmosphere in the background. The final sound I added was from Flux. It's the Glockenspiel preset. Again, I added this EQ. I added Decimore just to make it sound more vintage. Turn on the images filter and dialed in the frequency that I wanted. And finally, I added this reverb and adjusted the size. And again, I just added in these tension notes and changed these root notes to match the main pattern. I also added some automations. Once I had the loop, I pitched it down by two semitones. On the master, I added all of the effects I normally use. Solid bus compressor, RC20, an EQ and a limiter. I also added in some sounds I don't normally use, like this multiband compressor with the Mastering B preset. And I also added fresh air just to kind of boost some of the higher frequencies, but you want to keep it pretty subtle. And as you can see, I just added in a tiny amount and this plugin is also free. Thanks for watching and please space boost that like button if you learned anything. And also let me know what tutorial you want to see next. Peace.